Hey folks, we're here to talk about our popular Kawasa kayaks, our sport recreational boats. We have a 12 and a half footer, a 13 foot two inch model, and then a Kawasa 14 on the bottom. These boats have a little bit more rocker on the bottom curvature than our other models. They still track nicely. They are straight keeled in the back end, but they're more maneuverable for people that want to do windy, twisty streams. They're also very well suited to lean way over on their sides where you can get even snappier turns. Instructors love these boats to teach kayaking. Now we also have our popular Adirondack models that have more of the big open cockpits to them that are very lightweight. Separate video on those boats. And then Joe, the top three boats here are Saranac 14s, which is a longer, sleeker boat. And then the three boats in the bottom over here are Saranac 15s. We have a separate video on our touring kayaks, or Saranac 14 and 15. But folks, now we're going to tell you all about these beautiful Kawasa kayaks. All of our Kawasas are designed by David Yost, have very similar performance characteristics straighter keel than the back end. They track in a straight line very nicely. They have plumb sterns and they have very little rake to the front, so they have very long waterline lengths in relation to the overall length of the boat. And they also have what DY is known for very well. They're very rounded in the chine area and very consistently rounded from one end to the other. So they sit in the water nicely. When the waves hit the side of them, they roll underneath them very predictably without moving the boat all around. Super comfortable in adverse weather conditions. Three different models to choose from, so let's go over them with you now. All right, folks, here are two Kawasa 12-6s. Our Muskoka store manager, Diane, is five feet tall. She's in a Kawasa 12.6 LT, so like the Adirondack LTs, it doesn't have the hatches and bulkheads on it. The LT stands for lightweight. It's also what's called a low volume, where we take half an inch off the deck, half an inch off the hull, and it's a little bit lower boat. Jess, who works at our Gravenhurst store also, she is in the regular Kawasa 12.6, the standard height. And this particular one also has the hatches and bulkheads on it. These two boats are very sleek. They're very efficient in the water. You can see how narrow they are. Very easy for them to reach over the sides. These Kawasas are absolutely beautiful. If you're a person that really wants to get a cockpit that is a little bit tighter fitting than the Adirondacks, these really suit you well. And notice how they both have what we call two knees up. With their knees can be against the side of the boat on the side pod, so they have a lot of hip control in the boat, but they've got a lot of comfort to them while they're paddling. They're super, super comfy. You can paddle for hours like this. Cheers to the Kawasa 12-6s. <laughs> These two kayaks right here are the Kawasa 13-2. They're an inch wider than the 12-6, a bit longer. So size for a bigger person, 6'4", 240. I fit in this boat beautifully. People a little bit smaller really like this boat also. Now this, these two particular ones are the regular volume versions. This is the LT model without the hatches and bulkheads. I'm in the one with the hatches and bulkheads for people that may want to have a little bit of storage capabilities. They're both available in what we call LV, low volume, where they, we take an, half an inch off the deck and hull, they put them together so they're a little bit tighter fitting boats. Some people just like the fit of that. Brandon is in the Kawasa 14, which fits a little bit different customer profile. When we did this boat, we took the 13-2 and we extended it 10 inches further and the whole extension is in the cockpit area. And Brandon, you look pretty comfortable in that boat. Yeah, it's an extremely comfortable boat. 
Um, a boat for somebody who's looking for a really nice hybrid between um, a recreational style boat and a touring style boat. You get comfort, stability, but then there's performance to go along with it. So um, a boat this size, it, well, as Bill mentioned, accommodates a really wide range of paddlers. Um, there's quite a bit of room in the cockpit. It is a little narrower than our Adirondack series, which we would have talked about earlier. Um, but you, you can still, if you, if you have a, a dog or something, a smaller dog can come along with you, but a dog all these size, 50 pounds up, you're probably gonna be pushing it for space. Um, but it's just, it's a really well-rounded boat. It, it does everything well. I, I like that you did this, Brandon. It's one thing people really like in these kayaks is that they're playful. The Kawasa boat, you can really lean them over to the sides nicely. They have tremendous final stability. The Kawasa 14 is a hotter version of the Adirondack 13.6. Someone who's looking for a little bit more performance that may not be taking a bigger dog with them. The 13.2, we sell a lot to people looking for day cruising kayaks or maybe a little bit of shorter camping trips. These boats really cut the water nicely. They're a joy to paddle. We touched on it with the Adirondacks, but the with the Kawasa 14 in particular, the, the larger cockpit for, again, the mobility issues, larger paddlers, just somebody that needs a little extra space for getting in and out. It, this is a great model for that as well. So. Yes, and the great point in the two leg knees up when you're yep. paddling. I'm 6'4", folks. So this particular boat for me, I can put my legs up, but I don't have as much room. I'm more comfortable in the Kawasa 14. These are beautiful boats though, folks, and definitely ones you should consider. Cheers. I'd like to show you the features of the Kawasa 12.6 and 13.2 LT models. This is a beautiful Kawasa 12.6 LT in the low volume version. It's got the moss green deck with a beautiful clear carbon hull on it. They have the handles on the ends. We put the perimeter deck lines on them. That the, the whitest is uh, something that it really shows nicely if a flashlight shined at it at the night. It also has bungee cords on the deck where you can put doodads on it. The very comfortable side pads, which fit your shoulders very nicely and also where your legs can brace against that comes way underneath. So your legs, if you have them tucked in, have a lot of It has the very thick foam on it, the adjustable lumbar support. And again, this particular boat, your padding, we can fold the seat down. All of our high back seats do this. They've got the foam pillars in the back end and the front end of them the adjustable kayak foot braces from right where you're sitting. They also have a paddle rest right behind the cockpit to help you get in and out if you like to use your paddle. They've got the stainless steel security loops you can run a cable through. More bungee cords and perimeter deck lines and then the nice stern handles on them. These babies are super lightweight. This one weighs in the low 20s, just super comfortable and super easy to pick up. And check out our kayak outfitting laminate video, and we're gonna go over even more the details of how we build the kayaks in it. Let's show you folks the details of the Kawasa 12.6, 13.2, and 14 with the hatches and bulkheads on them. This is a beautiful Kawasa 13.2. It's got the clear amber hull on it, which is new for this year. It's got the black carbon internal skid plates on it. And this beauty has the nice red gel coat deck. They've got the super comfortable luggage handles that are very flexible at both ends. The perimeter deck lines on them, the bungee cords. And then they've got hatches in the bow and the stern, and they've got the solid bulkheads. And both the bulkhead and the hatches we make with resin fusion materials process, just like we make the hulls and decks of our boats. They've got a automotive door gasket to help make it really waterproof. 
No hatch is 100% waterproof, so always put your gear in a rubber dry bags or the plastic bags. This also has the bungee cords on it. The Kawasas all have the really durable ABS cockpit rims on them. They come standard with our side pads. And one thing, guys, they're thickest right here in the side where your knees may be braced against and when you're carrying the boat, it's on your shoulder, so it gives you even more padding for that. The same comfortable high back seat with the thick padding on the bottom with the medical foam, very thick padding in the back that really absorbs the energy of your body moving, adjustable lumbar support, and I'll fold this seat down. <laughs> So here you can see the solid bulkhead and the back hatch on this one. And then Joe, let's show them the foot braces here. We'll just see part of it right here, but very easy to adjust right from where you're sitting. And then this particular boat has the paddle rest again, where you can make it easier to get in and out. And this particular model has the optional skeg on it. Here's the control. When it's forward, the skeg's up. When it's back, the skeg's down. You can adjust how much of the skeg you want in the water when you're paddling. This is a good feature for people paddling in very windy, wavy conditions. More bungee cords towards the back of the boat. Nice hatch system in the back. There's a lot of storage capacity in the back of these Kawasas. If people do want to camp in them, they definitely have the capacity for that. Stainless steel security loops. These Kawasas with the hatches and the bulkheads, these babies are set up to have a lot of fun in them. Cheers. Our Kawasa kayaks are beautiful, and it may be the ideal watercraft for you, we want to show you a quick alternative here. We get a lot of folks that come into our test paddling facilities that say they want a trip with their boat. And we've developed these pack boats and Brandon, people really like these for tripping. Oh yeah, for sure. They, they, they check a lot of boxes, right? You have your in, interior volume for packing. They're extremely lightweight, stable, efficient. They're just, they're, they're really, really well-rounded boats, especially for tripping. Why don't you show the folks how light it is? This Cruiser 12.8 that Brandon has, this one weighs in the low 20s, very easy to lift up to carry. And you see the one I have, the Cruiser 14.8. Do you want to hop in that one, Brandon? We can yeah, talk sure. about it. The Cruiser 14.8 I have has the yoke on it. So this is right at the balance point, so I can flip this baby up. I can carry a pack with it also. I can tie my paddle in. So, so comfortable to trip with. So I'm just gonna roll this down. Brandon, you look pretty comfortable in that. It's cozy. Nice. Now, do you think Ollie would paddle nicely with you in that? Yeah, for sure. So, and really a lot of our pack boats have that space for, for bringing a dog along, but these ones um, especially, uh, you, you get a little more efficiency with them. So if you're looking to cover some um, some real distance on your trips, it's a great option for that. But yeah, Ollie loves the cruisers. Um, the 12 is good for uh, a lot of like sort of day tripping if you're bringing a dog. You don't want to go too too much longer with uh, for that. You might have to upsize a little bit if you're gonna if also you're gonna, carry a if pack. If you're gonna be carrying the pack and, and having your dog with you. But for day paddling, recreational stuff with a dog, this is great. Or um, smaller paddlers that want to do some long distance tripping, they can this this boat works really well for that as well. So just just about sizing appropriately. That's that's what we're that's what we're trying to do. And then the Cruiser 14.8, which is our most popular pack boat, really fits average sized people and a little bit bigger very nicely. Or a smaller paddler that really does want to take more gear with them. Take a dog, take a pack and so on. It just paddles beautifully in the water. The Kawasa kayaks are beautiful. They've got the hatches on them. If you are doing a trip that has multiple portages, taking the gear in and out of the hatches isn't easy to do. If you're going out for a day or maybe have one carry, they're, they're all right. But these cruiser pack boats, if people are looking for a 
craft to do more extended tripping with more portages, definitely consider these cruisers. We originally designed the Kawasas with the kayak instructors at Collinsville Canoe and Kayak that wanted to boat the track straight, but when leaned on its side, really did nice pirouettes and beautiful turns to it. So if you're a paddler that wants a straight tracking boat, that has a boat that has a lot of performance potential as your skills improve, definitely consider these Kawasas. I know which one I'm taking. I want to take this beautiful Kawasa 13-2 with the red over this clear amber. I love the fit of this and look of it. Cheers to the Kawasa Kayaks.